the floor for the visiting Dallas Mavericks. That's small forward, Reggie Bull. At the other forward position, Dorian Finney-Smith. At center, Dwight Powell. At shooting guard, Jalen Brunson. At the other guard position, Luka Doncic. The head coach of the visiting team is Jason Kidd. And now the starting lineup for you. semifinals. In this game, we'll see the Phoenix Suns against the Dallas Mavericks. Along with Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and our sideline reporter David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Hey, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. The Phoenix Suns have become a powerhouse in the Western Conference, but they've got plenty of competition. Chris Paul said, I've been in the West my whole career. The West has never been easy. It's always been a beast. If you want to win it all, you got to go through it. Guys? It's rugged. Tough road, David. No question about it. Thank you. Now, a look at Dallas' starting lineup. We've got Doncic. He's out there with Jalen Brunson. Reggie Bullock is out there with Powell. And it's Finney Smith in at the four. And for Phoenix, the star backcourt of Paul and Booker are out there. Aiton is the pivot, and Crowder slides in at the four. And it's Bridges in at the small forward position. And the backcourt matchup tonight, Brent, definitely high-powered. At the point guard position in particular, much more scoring expected than in decades past. Yeah, you got to be a, a triple threat at every position. And, and at the point guard, it just commands so much more attention. They're the initiators of the offense. Uh, there's so many guys who are tremendous scorers that can create opportunities themselves with the ball and do it from deep range. They can play off a of pick and roll and manipulate the defenses. So it, is a, it has been a golden era for point guards, and it's a new way in which they play, being able to shoot that three ball. Catch. Here's Brunson. Devin Booker picking up that last basket, and they're able to recover, and he gets it back for three. Bullock, good, when and the assist ball. goes to Doncic. Man, didn't have a ton of room to get that shot off. That's the kind of shooter he is. Bridges outside. Oh, eight in position. He rolls to the hoop for two at 7-1. Very fluid. We play just over a minute here in the first. Pass to Brunson. Powell in the high post. Aiton's there. Now here's Powell. He's covered by Aiton. Powell, that's good. And so it's Paul bringing it up for the Suns. It's a three-point game. Here's the pass to Aiton. 
He dishes it to Booker. It's Crowder on the wing. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Crowder not hesitating on the offensive end. The Mavericks have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. No secret here, Brent. Devin Booker known for his offense, but his defense has come a long way as well. Yeah, it's so funny when scorers come into the league and, and they score and people are still critical of them. That's what happened to Devin Booker. And then he realized as the games became bigger and more important, how much the defensive end is going to help his team do the things he wants to do. And so he's taken that tune. He's decided to play defense. He's been much better over the course of the last two seasons. And it's the Suns with the ball. After the Mavericks pick up three, ball goes in, and he banks in the layup. Chris Paul reading the defense, gets on the inside, and decides to just knock it down. Chips outside. Again, the Mavericks score. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, right now, I don't see any let up. I think he's going to just keep putting his foot on that gas pedal tonight. Now, here's a Powell with the steal. Here we go, one on one. Here's Brunson, 18 feet away, and he knocks it down. Assisted Brunson's got five points so far. I tell you what, it's it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this seat. Crowder finds it, and it's blocked. Finney Smith passes to Doncic. Here he goes, and the dunk by Doncic. And I love how Doncic reads the floor, varies his pace, and uses every trick of the bag to get where he wants to go. Now here's Aiton. And Aiton throws it down. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. And a look at the, ba the basket, guys, still shaking. Here's Powell. Yep, that one goes in there. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Suns trail by seven. Oh, Aiton in position. Hammers the alley and through. Just great hands for Aiton to time that one. And so it's Brunson with it. He brings it up for the Dallas Mavericks. Look to start a new streak after losing on Monday. In the NBA, you've got to keep pace. It's a fast track out there. And I thought their lack of hustle defensively was the story of the game. You can't allow any opponent to shoot that kind of percentage. If you do, it's just going to be so tough to keep up. Here's Paul. The Mavericks making the shot. It's tipped. They retain possession. It's good. Dallas leading by five. Runs in the pass to Doncic. That's out of bounds. The Mavericks able to retain possession here. Some changes for Phoenix. JaVale McGee's check in for eight. Johnson comes in for Crowder. And Cameron Payne subbed in for Chris Paul. Then for the Mavericks. Maxi Kleba, he's checked in for Powell, and it's Bertinus in for Reggie Bullock. In the corner, it's Kleba. Some nice passing here by Dallas. And here's Doncic from the arc. A three-pointer is right on target. Doncic has got nine points. Great start for him. 4-4, four, four. he could be in for a big game. McGee sets the pick for Booker. Johnson with the bounce pass. Here's McGee. That's in there. Johnson with the assist. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've got here in the first half. Johnson with it. He's got seven. And it's Doncic missing. Booker finds pain. Pass to McGee. It's deflected. Doncic outside. Passes it to Brunson. Johnson with the clock. There's 154 left here in the first quarter. Now here's Payne. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Count that one. Punch, counter punch. Impressive offensive production early on. Who's going to miss first? Every time one team scores, the other team right back at you. Now here's Brunson. Kleba sets the screen for Doncic. Pass to Kleba. 
Traps in the tray. That's in Cleveland. And that's back-to-back -back Three threes. The D just seems to be slacking off a little bit. Johnson outside. On the wing, Booker. Johnson against Berton. Booker with the screen for Johnson. Another three for Phoenix. And I like the back and forth here, showing confidence from Rain. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. And look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the men. They've definitely had a hot hand from three-point range. It's always nice to get off to a good start. I'm loving the ping-pong action of the ball tonight. A decent number of assists so far. Here's what Phoenix has got going on right now. Torrey Craig, he's checked in for Mikhail Bridges. And Landry Shamit subbed in for Booker. Now, here's Kleba. Diving in, and Kleba slams it in. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Yeah, well, he settled for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that. I mean, that's a tough break for the D. I mean, he took the hit and drew the whistle. Defense doesn't get much better than the mobile one block we just that saw on replay. And that block Landry. was something. It's the playoffs, the and every possession and defensive stop matters. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one at the line is good. And already at such a young age, Landry Shamit considered one of those critical role pieces for a very good team. Sky's still the limit for where he can get to. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. A great player on a great role at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. Now here's Dinwiddie. Five to shoot. Johnson with the block. Craig finds Payne. With the teardrop, it's blocked. Dinwiddie surveying the floor. And Crown throws it down. Dynamic. And right in the face of the defender. It's been That's all the about Luka Doncic for Dallas. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. Ladies and gentlemen. And to begin his career, Devin Booker labored through half a decade of losing in Phoenix. And he opened up about what it means now to be on the other side. This is what I've been waiting on. Playing competitive basketball night in and night out. Keeping my head down, um, staying locked in and seeing tunnel vision, trying to play the right way through it all. Um, you know, I want to keep winning basketball games. And, you know, we have the culture and the foundation around here to make it happen. Really do great to see his patience rewarded. And so often, young players on losing teams can go astray. Credit Booker for staying solid through the adversity. Phoenix ball. And we welcome you back to 2K Sports coverage of the Western Conference semifinals. And guys, what's your take on the Mavericks so far? Well, one way to generate more offense: pound the offensive glass. That was the difference in the first. Keep plays alive with your activity. That's what it's about. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. On the court for the Mavericks. They've got Powell on out there with Maxi Kleba. Then there's Reggie Bullock, and it's Dinwiddie in at the point. And the best of Dinwiddie. Locked up there for Powell. Crowder with the steal. And he lobs it up toward the rim. And they're moving it up. Here's Bullock, and it's Dallas with another. Of all the action happening there, it's the assist that jumps out to me there. That's just a great look and a great setup for the bucket. Aiden a screen on Kleba. 
Crowder, the pass to Ayton, and the layup is good. Ayton's got 10 points in the game. And Jay Crowder moving it to the open man. Ayton is a player who, Greg, occasionally shoots a three, but it's still a developing part of his game. Yeah, you know, not the best league. numbers from outside. Does it to keep teams honest, but it's a far fetch to say he can stretch a defense. Dinwiddie with the steal. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the three-point shot of Mikel Bridges seemed to abandon him early in his NBA career. Coach Monty Williams said he developed a hitch in his release. Bridges got in the lab with the coaching staff, changing his shot midway through season two. And the results speak for themselves. Guys? He had a career year shooting, that's for sure. I admire his work ethic. DA, thank you. Baseline try, got a piece of it, and he gets it back. Eight in a screen on Kleba. Powder goes in, and he comes up with the deuce. He's got 12. Think about the next few years. How much more complete will Aiton get? There's some indicators there. Dinwiddie against Paul. Rejected by Crowder. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. Aiton kicks to Shannon. Four on the clock. It's up a three. Dinwiddie with the rebound. And so it's Dinwiddie with it. He'll bring it up for the Dallas Mavericks. They lead by four. He made that one. Best the number three for him. He's also missed two. Yeah, this story in the second quarter, much different than the one in the first. We're finally seeing some aggression. Shamit the pass to Paul. Back to Shamit. Buries the long-range jumper. Shamit's got five. Since the second he entered the NBA, Shamit has been great from the three-point line. 42% for three as a rookie. Near the three-point line, it's Bullock. Again, the Mavericks score. Suns trail by five. Pass to Crowder. Back to Paul. Suns moving the ball around. Ayton dishes to Paul, and the shot goes in. Paul's got five points now this quarter. How about the change of speed from Chris Paul? That helps out a lot. Adept at getting his shots off under some heavy pressure. Back to Powell, Crowder with the steal. Ayton kicks to Paul, and it's Phoenix scoring again. And Dallas calls their first time out of the game. Well, we've heard, Brent, some teams say more Mavericks should be done to protect players from dangerous fouls. Do you agree? Well, I think the headshots are something that people are looking at most. Uh, it's player safety comes first. And I know a lot of people that watch basketball in the 70s and 80s when the game was much more physical where those plays didn't result in technical fouls see it a bit differently. But it's still about protecting the players and avoiding those kind of plays to put them in danger. And, and, and I'm for that. Checked in for eight. Johnson comes in for Jay Crowder. Bridges is checked in for Torrey Gray. And it's Devin Booker in for Landry Shamit. And the Mavericks will go for a different look here. Davis Bertans checks in for Dwight Powell. Torrey and Finney Smith comes in for Maxi Kleba. Jalen Brunson, he's checked in for Brown. And Doncic is subbed in for Dinwiddie. The Mavericks leading. Now Brunson. Seven points in the game. Donchich outside. 
over Paul. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. And really, Doncic can score from any area. His arsenal is very impressive. Johnson finds Paul. And here's McGee. Booker outside. Shot clock at five. Phoenix needs to get off a shot. And with that, the Maverick lead is cut to just one point on the basket from McGee. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. On the wing, Township. Defended by Paul. McGee against Township. Over Bridges. And another basket for Dallas. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. Here's Booker, and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And you know, That's Booker might have been a volume shooter, at least early in his career, but now he's a legit number one option for an offense. Two shots. Shooting two. Free throw, good Booker. And Greg, the efficiency for Booker has grown over the years. And no longer forcing shots. Takes what's available to him. And I believe he can be the leading scorer on a championship caliber team. Cameron Payne's checked in for Chris Paul. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Some guys will wow you with their overall size or incredible athleticism. Evan Booker does it with his pure ability to score the ball. Here's Brunson. He takes it in, and that one drops. Brunson's got nine. Yeah, you can see the defense broke down there, allowing him to get all the way to the hoop. The drive by Booker. It's deflected. Doncic outside. Another three for Dallas. And without much left to prove, Doncic still trying to hone the consistency of that three ball. But the confidence, no doubt, is there. Kicks it out to Johnson. Passes to Bridges. Fires from the wing. That's tipped. Pass to Brunson. 58 seconds left in the second quarter. He with the block. McGee inside. Rajon defending. Hey guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Brunson against Booker. Rajon sets the pick for Doncic. And stolen by Payne. On the wing, Booker. Shoots over Brunson, and the Suns tack on two more. How smooth is Devin Booker's J right there, and inside the arc, he nails it. And here is Doncic. From past the arc, sinks the triple. Doncic has got 19 points. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Yeah, the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. It's been all about Luka Doncic for Dallas. He's been a major threat from three-point range. Got two of them to fall in that quarter. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Here with Coach Jason Kidd. Jason, how do you feel about your team's performance? I feel great. You know, we're sharing the ball, we're making the extra pass, but we're attacking the paint. And if we can continue to do that, it puts us in a good seat. Jason, thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, David. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. Welcome in, everybody. Game two, and it's looking pretty good right now for the Dallas Mavericks. Well, I like what I'm seeing on the offensive end. They're keeping things simple, getting to their spots and executing. Nothing fancy. Kind of like Shaq Sue. 
taking a look at the situation for the Phoenix Suns. They held serve in game one. Shaq, how confident do they have to be for this one? Oh, uh, they gotta be very confident, but not overconfident. They need to be shaq -fident. Well, I don't know about that, but they gotta continue to be assertive, Ernie. You know, you can't count on momentum or the home court. It's all about your effort. I don't know what the heck shaq fitting is, but they can't count on that. Incisive analysis as usual. And now we send it down courtside for the second half. And glad to have you with us as we get going here in game two. You know, Luka Doncic has been exceptional here, guys. Yeah, and the bulk of his damage so far has come from the perimeter. A lot of threes early on. Yeah, he keeps tracking down those spots behind the three-point line and, and finding some open opportunities. And we've got second-half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. Up it forward, they'll have Bridges and Crowder. The star backcourt of Paul and Booker are out there. And it's Aiton in at the five, roaming the paint. This is out there for Phoenix. Here's Brunson. Nine points in the game so far. Doncic right side. Just five to shoot. Now the pass to Finney Smith. Bridges with the steal. Jumps up. Ooh. Okay. The attention Mikel had on that play helped him out to get that steal. And that's life above the rim. Courtesy of our AT&T 5G Slam Team. And Brunson has it in the corner. Just five on the clock. Dallas needs to get off a shot. And here's Bullock from the arc. Another three for Dallas. Man, the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. Knocked loose. Stolen by Bullock. Donchich outside. Another three for Dallas. That's a dozen straight points coming off the triple. Booker looking around, and it's tonight, and it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Brunson. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. Well, they didn't make it this far by giving up easy ones, and now their defense is in overdrive. And here are the Suns now. They trail by seven. Eight in a screen on Brunson. Booker. And the dunk by Booker. Finishes like that are pretty impressive from Devin Booker, who we know is a great outside shooter. Pass to Doncic. Powell against Eaton. Powell the pass to Doncic. And taken away by Paul. And here they come. And Aiton throws it down. Yeah, Aiton just swallowing up the defender there and then completes the play. And Chris Paul still a great defender. Fantastic position. Well, not only the positioning, but Luka if you Doncic. watch Chris Paul, he's calling out every option of every play that every offense is running in the NBA. That kind of intelligence gives the rest of his group incredible confidence. And from the very beginning, Chris Paul has been one of the most disruptive point guards defensively the league has ever seen. Finney Smith passes to Bullock. The drive by Doncic. And the dunk by Doncic. A great disruptor of the basketball. Luka taking matters into his own hands tonight. Great to see him play like this. And there's the call on DeAndre. That is his first foul of the game. His first personal and that's a couple of very shaky possessions in a row. One turnover right after the other. And Phoenix making a change here. Craig's checked in. 
and then for Dallas. Maxi Kleba, he's checked in for Torian Finney-Smith. Brown comes in for Reggie Bullock. And Dinwiddie subbed in for Jalen Brunson. The basket counts and one. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play. And Kevin, Shooting for everybody's dissecting Luka's offensive game, trying to find that weakness. And I'm just here to tell you, I don't think he has it. One shot. That free throw good from Doncic. And the play of Doncic drawing comparisons to so many all-time greats. But Greg, the one that stood out to me, they said he's a combination of Larry Bird and Magic Johnson. What do you think? And it just makes okay. sense with his passing and shooting. Ball. You throw in the step-back game of James Harden, you start to see why he has become such a problem for this league. Here's Crowder. Ayton sets the pick for Crowder. Passes it to Ayton. Six on the shot clock. Basket counts. Ayton's got 16. Andre Ayton happy to shoot at that range. Nice stroke. Over in the corner, Doncic. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Doncic has got the lead up to 12 now for Dallas. And the Suns call their first time out of the game. in for the Suns. Landry Shamit comes in for Bridges. Davis Bertans checks in for Dallas. Here's Johnson. Six points for him. Mavericks foul. Spencer Dinwiddie. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Aiton finds Shemp. Some nice ball movement here by the Suns. And the Mavericks whistle blows. Foul. It's going to be on Luka Doncic. That is his first foul of the game. Foul. Phoenix Second making some changes. Down. JaVale McGee's checked in for eight. For your and Cameron Payne subbed Javale in for Paul. McGee. Cameron Payne. Payne with it. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. And the slam dunk by McGee. Incredible reverse throwdown. Excellent body control. And guys, I'd even go as far to say that was a punctuation dunk. Pass to Bertans. Let's the free fly. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Bertans got himself on the board with three there. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Yeah, pretty infectious right here, guys. In good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. 
Down to five on the shot clock. To the left wing. Yep, it goes. And the Dallas Hitters cut down to ten in the bucket there from McGee. He's been terrific tonight, and with a little help from the other guys on the floor, they might be able to turn this game around. And a closer look here at the hustle stance for the Mavericks. Their defense has been outstanding, closing out on shots and blocking a few as well. A significant difference here has been the number of points off turnovers that they've gotten. Here's Doncic. 33 points for him. And there's the pass to Brown. The shot by Bertans. Nobody around. It's good from long range. Three points. Bertans got six points. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here defending the triple. Payne kicks to Shannon. McGee inside. Kleba on him. Shot is good. And the Mavericks lead is cut down now to just 10 points with that basket from McGee. Dinwiddie passes to Kleba. On your job side. Push on the screen. And that's it. Here we go. Rejected by Crowder. That's just good defense as Crowder in the right spot. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Booker, he's checked in for Landry Shannon. And Dallas Landry. also making a switch. Jalen Brunson, he's checked in for Luka Doncic. Phoenix has got a terrific 5 of 6 from beyond the arc in this game. Booker is screen on Dinwiddie. To the middle. It's blocked. They recover it. That's it. The Dallas lead is cut down to just 8 points on the bucket from McGee. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And taken away by Johnson. Pass to Crowder. Oh! And he hammers in the reverse slam. You can't forget about Jay out there in transition and getting to the right spot on the floor. Down low. It's tipped. Payne finds Crowder. McGee. Pass to Booker. Now here's Dinwiddie. To the paint. Here's Brunson. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Dinwiddie's got four assists now tonight. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Three second difference between shot clock and game clock. Out to the right wing. Dinwiddie kicks to Brunson. Back to Dinwiddie. Five on the clock. 13 feet away. And Dallas again with the button. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flame. And he's the guy that you want to go to right now trying to put this one away. And as we end the third quarter, a great game. Both teams playing well. The Mavericks on top. They lead by eight. And time to step aside quickly, but we'll be back in no time with the start of the fourth quarter. Now at our assist of the game, brought to you by State Farm. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. That's what great passing will do for you right there, dissecting the defense with that play. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. Dallas leading by eight on the court for the Mavericks. We've got Jalen Brunson. Reggie Bullock is out there with Dwight Powell, and it's Dinwiddie in at point guard. Bullock, good. If you came to watch a scoring battle, you're in the right place. Both of these teams locked in on the offensive end. Going to be a high-scoring affair tonight. That's the puck. Dinwiddie, left side. 
And Dallas again with the bucket. Yeah, that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. The coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Shoots. That's it, and the Dallas lead has been down to 10 points. And thanks to that one from Booker. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone right now. Inside, Aiton, and it's blocked. It's going to be out of bounds. The Suns will retain possession. Off the inbound, blocked again, and he's able to get it back. And the three ball is good. Booker's got it back out of a single-digit deficit for Phoenix. That's a good find for Aiton, understanding the defensive scheme. And he just waited for his teammate to be open. Here's Dinwiddie. That's him. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. Aiton a screen on Brunson. Oh, Aiton in position. Throws down the alley oop slam. And this kind of distribution is something that Devin Booker is only going to improve upon. Dinwiddie outside. Into the lane. Johnson with the block. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Johnson. Brunson kicks to Powell. Powell with a screen on Paul. Shot clock at five. Score the basket. It's number six for him this game. Six for nine. 67% shooting. And so Aiton will bring it up for Phoenix. Nine point game. Kicks it out to Booker. Three pointer. Another three for Phoenix. Yeah, a good contest, but if Booker has his eyes on the rim before you get there on the closeout, chances are he's going to score. Dinwiddie sets the screen for Brunson. Lock up there for Powell. Takes the alley oop pass and dunks it down. Jalen Brunson. Oh, phenomenal alley oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. A nice shot by Booker. This is a one man show right now. He's on a mission to get him out of this hole. Dallas calls timeout. And with Chris Ball, he makes this team work gets the most out of his teammates and has Our done that wherever he's feet. played. And make some noise for teacher time! All right, look who's coming out of the court. Come on and get loud for you and some dancer. He's checked in for the Mavericks. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hi, Kevin. Well, Jason Kidd going over the plan with his team for the last few minutes. He said, keep grinding. We're in good shape. Things aren't always going to go perfectly. Don't let that slow you down. Let's just stick to what got us here. Kevin will see if they can build on this lead. Thank you, David. And so it's Dallas with it. Dallas moving the ball around. The pass to Bullock. Powell with a screen on Bridges. Brunson rejected by Booker. 
hole. No one around him. Good, it's Johnson with the assist that time. Now it's just a three-point Maverick lead. Pass to Brunson. Up there for Powell. And that's out of bounds. Dallas will retain possession. You love the pressure he's putting on them. Almost had that steal. Yeah, pestering right now, and that's going to pay some dividends. At some point, there's going to be a turnover. From the inbound, and the jumper is on the mark. And that's just cold-blooded right there. He's taking no prisoners. Confidence is sensational, and it feels like no one is going to stop him tonight from scoring. And with that, the Maverick lead is cut down to just three in the basket from Chris Paul. And Chris Paul is so comfortable operating in the mid-range. Powell, this is to Doncic. Another three for Dallas. And, and until he cools off, I'd keep the ball in his hand. For Phoenix, they've gone 7 of 10 shooting the ball since the start of the fourth quarter. Oh, Aiton in position. Out of bounds, it'll be Maverick's ball. Maverick's no ball. clue <laughs> where that pass was going. That is a brutal turnover. Dallas leading by six. Now Brunson and Chris Paul picks up the foul. That's his That's third, third foul of the game. Foul. Down the stretch, he's been flat out awesome. He helped them get the lead, and now he's making sure they keep it. Jay Crowder's checked in for the Suns. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. And with every team looking for floor spacers, Brent Bullock is a very good veteran option. Yeah, he's one of those guys you just don't want to let him get going and continues to draw the attention of the defense to create the kind of gravity for other players on the floor to have opportunity. Booker against Brunson. On Jim's outside. And they wasted no time getting those three points, three points back. Three point field goal. Doncic has got 41. Guys, he's been a one man air raid coming at them time and time again. I don't like he's in his living room right now. He's in the comfort zone. Once he gets that, the defense knows they're in trouble. And here is Doncic. Brunson with a clean look. Good. And the assist goes to Doncic. Brunson's got nine points here in the second half. And here's Booker from the arc. Another three for Phoenix. Well, Any time that somebody scores, Devin Booker's the first option. He comes back and drills that one. He lobs up the alley of pass. To the inside. Stolen by Brunson. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. And ball over to help. Here's Finney Smith. Another three Going for Dallas. Smith. Defensively, you can't field afford field. to give him that kind of look, especially down this many points. A teachable moment there. Lapses like this are backbreakers. Crowder from outside. Knocks down the three ball. Crowder's got six here in this quarter. The important for this offense to have a perimeter threat that's being provided for them right now by Jay Crowder. For three, Bullock. And he's good on the three ball. And the Mavericks lead by 10. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line. And I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. Out of bounds. Phoenix will take possession. Dinwiddie is checked in for Dorian Finney-Smith. Spencer Dinwiddie. So Booker will bring it up for the Suns. One ten left in the fourth quarter. Eight in the screen. A nice shot by Booker. This isn't all that surprising. Remember, Devin Booker once put 70 up in an NBA contest. Mavericks leading by eight. Doncic feeling it out. Power the screen on Crowder. Hey, guys, that's going to wrap it up. Fans are piling out. Obviously a huge win here in game two for the Mavericks.
And it may be a comfortable win for him. They had to weather a few storms along the way, and that's all part of the storm. Yeah, Kevin, this was by no means the runaway that it might appear to be. It was a scrappy performance, though, all the way through. And this win has really got to feel fantastic, guys. It evens up the series now at one game apiece. Yeah, I mean, it's a whole new series now. The best of five, if you will. You never want to lose two to start this thing off, but right now they've got something to be happy about going into game three. And we watched one guy all night long, guys, and, and looking at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Luka Doncic. He knows how to fill it up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. Nobody that they assigned to him could really get a handle on him. And now we present our New Balance Player of the Game, Luka Doncic. And guys, he's been about as close to perfection as you could be. The intensity he's played with has been amazing. Just no let up. And as fired up as he's been, he's never let his emotions get out of control. Falling into a two-game hole would have been a disaster, and he knew it. He's done everything in his power to get momentum back on their side in this series. Inside. by Powell. The alley oop layup. Very well done. My goodness. Say, say that. I, I want to see that again. Me too. Just absolutely beautiful. Doncic right side. Another three for Dallas. And once they smell blood in the water, you could see the killer instinct take over. Yeah, up until that point, a competitive game, but. Once they broke through that barrier, it was all them. Complete control. Love his shot selection. Good at taking quality shots. Whether he's defended or open, he knows how to knock those down. Dinwiddie passes to Bullock. The connects again from distance. The threes coming fast and furious. He is scorching the nets. Now GA tied for the third most three-point field goals in single-game playoff history. So no problem for Dallas as they get the win. The the Just game. a massive victory, Greg. Maybe it's overstating like it, but I think this was a game they had to have. And I don't think it's overstating, it's overstating it. I agree with you. I mean, going down 2-0 would have given this team a huge hill to climb. But now at one game apiece and with some momentum, this is anybody's series. And now let's go over to David Aldridge from the sideline for an interview with our player of the game. Hey, David. Thanks, Kevin. Luca, you played well and you got the win. So, what made the difference? Yeah, I think we had a uh, had a great game. You know, we had a. I think it was a great game today. You know, we step up uh, together, play good defense, and it was a great win. Thanks for your time, man. Appreciate it, Kevin. Back to you. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. Well, that'll do it, folks. Glad you could join us for the Western Conference semifinals. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.